Hey Sagittarius, welcome to your weekend love reads, the express reads for the 8th to the 10th of November. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, leave me a comment down in the comment section below. Let's get started for your love messages though for this weekend. So, oh, straight away. Alright, someone's being stubborn and feeling super drained. Love messages for Sagittarius, please. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, this situation. Okay, let's before I speak out of school, let me just get some more information here. Yes. I don't think I'm speaking out of school, but Okay, yeah. All right, so it looks to me like there is some sort of situation that has kind of been dragging on for ages and I'm wondering whether or not it's because you were kind of hoping that it was going to resolve in a different way, but it's taking a lot longer to get over this person than it normally would. And it's left you feeling a little bit disillusioned and like um, unfulfilled. It's affected your self-confidence a little bit. What's the nine of wands in reverse, please? What is the situation? Okay, it may have been an earth sign that you were dealing with that gave you and like made you an offer. But why? Why is this now in the cold? More please. Yeah, okay, but it never got off the ground. So it's someone that promised you that it was going to be great and then it never happened so they may have disappeared they may have ghosted you they may have just changed their mind they may have told you but either way you're kind of like were a bit blindsided by it what's the five of pentacles please yes okay yeah and you're trying to release that toxicity but it's not really working you're focused on the loneliness aspect yeah, so you're in four of cups, loneliness, regret. You're trying to get over it, but you just can't seem to find a way through. You are actually healing. So this six of swords in reverse, it tells me that yes, you are healing, but it's just taking a lot longer than what you know you're used to, really. And that's tied to this. This is that's tied to this nine of cups in reverse because it really shook you, shook you to the core. All right, what's this uh, nine of cups in reverse, please? you feel like they didn't fight for this you were expecting them to yeah you were expecting them to fight for this connection because you you saw it as a ten of cups you saw it as a, like a serious love potential and they didn't for some reason so there may have been an argument that may have been why it didn't get off the ground Okay, there's nearly an accident outside my house, but that's okay. Um, <laughs> that may have been why it didn't kind of get off the ground. Maybe you guys didn't see eye to eye for some reason and you expected them to fight for you and come back. That's what's happening here with this. You were holding on. That was that energy I was feeling like hoping that it was going to resolve, but they just, they haven't for whatever reason. What's the most likely outcome? Okay, so didn't get that out, but... It's like the universe is sort of saying like this was meant to happen this way, okay? So with this um, Wheel of Fortune, it doesn't feel like that was meant how it was meant to go, but it was. You have got a lesson in here somehow that you were meant to learn or that you have learned. Um, so it was all meant to happen the way it has so far happened. It's hard to accept that sometimes. Trust me, I know. What's the most likely outcome for this weekend, please? Oh, I finally feel connected back to these cards, which is nice. Okay, yeah. So it doesn't look like it's going to... I feel like that's you. You're finally going to stop trying to um, find ways to make this work or trying to find ways to get this person back. I feel like you're kind of reaching a, a state of acceptance now. Which is good, Sag. Yeah, again, like these are repeating energies. You've got the three of um, three of pentacles in reverse, 
and what do you see the eight of pentacles in reverse both of those are signaling that you're not going to be putting any more energy into this like you're finally realizing that you know what there's nothing more i can give here i've given everything i can if this person comes back they come back if they don't then i've done everything i can possibly do you are feeling a little bit I don't think codependent is the right word but you're definitely feeling a little bit out of your element being single again it's not where you want to be and that this accepting that us you are single and yes this may not progress um is going to be a challenge for you this weekend because she's in reverse so you're you're kind of focusing on the, the negative aspects of being single rather than finding all the awesome aspects of being single like you can have wine and cheese for dinner if you want. You don't have to share the TV remote with anyone. If you want to walk around with no pants, you can walk around with no pants and there's no one to judge you. So there's some really cool things about being single. They were just three off the top of my head. It's great. All right. But so that's going to be a challenge for you this weekend, Satch. Right. One more for outcome, I think. Yeah, okay, so you're accepting that this is not going to, at this point in time, be an opportunity that you can work on with this person. Advice, please, for Sagittarius. Advice for Sagittarius, please. Yep, Ten of Swords. So Spirit is saying it's time to accept this is over. I know this is hurting you guys to hear, um, but it's it's all because there's something better for you. Like they're not telling you this because you can't hear it or you can't cope with it or you don't need to hear it. This message is 100% coming through because there is something better that is waiting for you. You need to start looking for that something better. Does not feel like this right now. I know this. We've all been there. But 100%, they're only bringing this through because of that. One more, please. Oh, yes, 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 yes. All right. So super clear what's going on for me here. Like I can, it's like reading a book. Spirit is saying this is over. You need to start accepting that this is over. Because there is something better that you can be looking forward to so this is in reverse but in like he's looking out forward um you have something better worth waiting for the person that you had here this probably an earth sign maybe an earth sign you thought that they were your soulmate they weren't your soulmate this card's in reverse they weren't your soulmate your soulmate is waiting for you. You've got all your wishes coming true and it is round the corner. I feel like this is like the next, it's the next sort of um, turn in the wheel for you to really arrive at this star card. So that's, it's, it's kind of like, okay, it's like a clock and that clock has just gone around another hour, like it's another, but I feel like it's the next time it chimes, you're gonna find your star. So all your wishes coming true, everything you ever wanted in a relationship, that was not going to happen here. You were always going to be unfulfilled in this relationship, no matter what you painted it like in your head. All right, Sagittarius, that's what I've got. Oh, no, wait, we haven't done Romance Angels. Sorry, 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 sorry. Let's do Romance Angel. Romance Angel advice for Sag, please. Mm -hmm. Honeymoon, again, I absolutely feel like this next time this clock, next time this clock chimes, it's going to be serious and this is the kind of thing that you are going to be looking forward to. Amazing bliss, holidays, honeymoon period. I think it's going to be absolutely incredible. It's going to be, you can't even imagine how good it's going to be. That's that's what I'm getting. Like the energy of this is you couldn't, in your wildest dreams, you couldn't imagine that a relationship could be this amazing. All right, that's that's really what I've got for you this time, Sag. <laughs> so don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Leave me a comment down in the comment section below. I'll see you right back here for the weekly reads. Talk to you soon. Bye.